The avian respiratory system is the most efficient in the animal kingdom. The primary functions of the respiratory system are to supply oxygen to the body tissue and to carry away carbon dioxide produced by high levels of metabolic activity. In birds, this process of gas exchange is crucial because the demand for oxygen during flight is enormous. The flight muscles must receive a large and constant supply of oxygen to maintain flight, and metabolic wastes must be removed quickly. Unlike most land vertebrates, birds lack a muscular diaphragm to power respiration, and instead rely upon expansion of the rib cage to draw in air. When a bird inhales, air actually leaves the lungs. Fresh, oxygenated air enters the lungs as the bird exhales. The avian respiratory system is composed of the trachea, relatively small lungs, and usually nine large air sacs. These nine air sacs are extremely thin-walled and do not play a direct role in gas exchange. Instead, they serve as bellows to bring air into the bird and store it until expiration. They allow a continuous stream of air to pass through the lungs in a one-way flow, thus producing the most efficient respiratory system of any vertebrate. They are also connected to certain pneumatic bones, aiding the bird in shedding excess heat from its body as it breathes, which would be fatal if not removed. These air sacs include a pair of cervical sacs, a single interclavicular sac, a pair of anterior thoracic sacs, a pair of posterior thoracic sacs, and a pair of large abdominal sacs. All of the air sacs participate to some extent in the respiratory process. All of the posterior air sacs expand on inspiration, while all of the anterior air sacs contract on expiration. The path of a breath through the system can be summarized in four steps. During the first inhalation, the breath travels down the trachea, into the left or right bronchus, through the lung, and into the posterior thoracic and abdominal air sacs. As the bird exhales, the abdomen contracts, forcing the air out of the abdominal sacs and into the lungs. Within the lungs, the air passes through parabronchi and eventually through air capillaries. It is only here where the exchange of carbon dioxide for oxygen occurs. As the bird inhales again, the air within the lungs is driven out. The now stale air passes into the interclavicular, cervical, and anterior thoracic air sacs. During the second exhalation, the anterior sacs contract. The air is then driven out into the trachea, where it passes up and out of the nostrils. This specialization of the avian respiratory system is one of the greatest factors in flight. Without this unique anatomy, the act of flight would likely be impossible.